All right. So in this case, I need us to consider uh, this is transducers, as we can see, and it's going to be a revision. We had our introduction and I talked about that, that if you consider those questions, you will see that you can answer as much questions as you can. So this is November 2023 exam. Transducers, a thermocouple is an output of one millivolt. That's a thermocouple, the transducer pair. 10 uh, degrees Celsius is similar to that question that we also had on the introduction, only that there you were given and you calculated the feedback resistor. This time you are to show all the calculations, but you're supposed to calculate the suitable metering resistor, which is the difference with our previous question. So let's see what we have. Remember what I said? I, uh, I said we've got two things that you have to consider, the transducer and from the transducer, you need the output which you use as the input on our amplifier uh, multiplier circuit, on our amplifier multiplier circuit. You will need there as the input. So on the multiplier, uh, on the um, uh, amplifier multiplier circuit, uh, remember guys, this is where you use the, the amplifier multiplier circuit with, from your op amp configuration. I'm not gonna talk about much about this guys. We, talked about this just make sure you go through the introduction remember uh we are going to have uh, something like this all right this is where we've got our feedback uh connected to the output and other in input there we're going to have our metering uh resistor uh something of that nature and all right just a basic illustration uh that we are having there so this is your metering resistor uh, this is your feedback, and this is our output, and this is our input, remember. And I also talked about the output configuration, that at the output, you are going to observe that your output, V out is given as a V in uh, into 1 plus RF over RM, which, depending on the textbook, you can have this as written as V out over V in is equal to 1 plus RF over R in, where they divided by VN as that of the voltage gain. So the amplifier, which is our op amp, this input, this one, this input, this VN is the one that I'm saying it has to be taken from the output of the transducer. So that is where now we have to consider our thermocouple first. What is it about the thermocouple? They are saying that it has an output signal. They're talking about output, one millivolt per 10 degree Celsius. So V out is supposed to be taken from uh, one uh, millivolt per 10 degree, per each, per each, per each, per each, per each. Meaning say we do not have the exact answer there. You must have the temperature in order for you to have the exact answer. So they are saying is and is required to measure the temperature of a roster within a temperature range of 100 degrees Celsius to, you take the maximum, to 500 so according to our maximum temperature of 500 degrees Celsius, what is our V out? If you're saying per 10, per 10, how many tens do we have in 500? That is the question. How many tens? How many tens? These ones, do we have in 500? It means 500 over what? Over 10. This is 500 degrees Celsius over 10. How many 10 degrees? Degree socials, do we have in 500? So that was going to be uh, 50 of them. So you multiply to 1 millivolt. You have got your output, as I explained before. So this is your output uh, voltage of the transducer, our thermocouple, which is the one that we need to be the input when you are referring to the amplifier. So the V out will become our V in this time here. So we are now saying V out uh, is now our V in on the amplifier circuit, which is what? 50 millivolts. So we now take that to be our input, to be our input so that it will be amplified to give us an output there, which is according to the information that we have now. Let's consider that. What are they saying about? They are saying calculate the value of a suitable metering resistor for the op amp multiplier, which is RM, as we stated before, uh, we need to calculate the value of RM there on a condition that 
we have to interface with a standard one vote to five vote signal range. Oh, it, th this is the signal range where? On the op amp now, on the output, the signal range, what will be the output, the maximum there, you take the maximum, which is the five. So this is the output from our, our op amp. We have that output, it is given. If given that the feedback resistor is 100 kilo ohm, we are given the feedback resistor of 100 uh, kilo ohm. From there, calculate this. Uh, with the information, show all your calculation steps, the steps that you're going to take. So on our calculations, definitely we know that this is our uh, metering. We've already calculated uh, this V in. This is part of your calculations. After that, you write your voltage as it is. It's part of your calculations as your solution. And from there, what is that you need? We have V out, we have V in. We have RF, we need to make RM the subject. So you can also write it this way. And from there, let's make RM the subject. What are you going to do? Let's take the one this side. We need to make RM the subject. Make RM the subject. So you're going to have V out minus V in minus one. It was a plus, it becomes a minus, which is equal to your left with what there? You are left with RF over RM, which is our metering resist. And from there, you need to calculate RM. Let's say you cross multiply. Let's say you cross multiply. Let's say you cross multiply. This will be like this. It's a bracket. In fact, that will be over one like this. So it will be RM times this bracket. It will be like this cross multiplication, guys. This multiply is here. This multiply is here. So it will be RM into this bracket. V out over VN minus one is equal to one times RF, which is RF. You need RM so you can simply divide by that bracket. Remember, your N3 mathematics allows you to do that. So RM, we can divide by this bracket. So by dividing, you're going to have RF over this bracket of V out minus V in minus one like this. So this is the formula where the metering resistance can be calculated just like that. So you just have to substitute your RF. You are given 100 uh, kilo ohm. So that means our R, uh, RM is going to be 100 times 10 to the exponent of 3 kilo ohm over what? V out minus V in. Remember, we gave it V out is 5. Our V in is 50 millivolts. So it's going to be 5 over what? 50 times 10 to the exponent of minus 3. 50 millivolts minus 1 just like this. So this was going to give us uh, the metering resistance by calculating it was going to be 1010 comma one, uh, that is going to be uh, comma one zero one two three decimal place if you want to use it that way. You can also write to kilo ohms divide by 1000, it's going to be somewhere there. So it will be one comma uh, zero one. Uh, that will be a zero there. So there's no need for us to have that zero in what? In kilo ohm. You can also write it this way or present it that way. You have your metering resistance. So as you can see, these typical questions, they do need you to understand the information that you're given. They can ask a question like that for 10 marks. Just look, guys. There's nothing that you have actually done. You're just understanding what is it that we have from the transducer. The transducer gives us the output, the output of the transducer, the output from the transducer, the output from uh, the transducer becomes our input, becomes our input. That will be our input to the what? To the op amp multiplier, to the op amp uh, multiplier. That is the that is the condition. What you refer as your V out there on the op amp is your V in. If you understand that, guys, you're done. Even they can give you that part of a bridge network, whatever that you're given. Calculate what is called output there. Use it as your input on the on that. You're done. So this is what we had guys till we meet again.